Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to play Star Wars Jedi Survivor game on your Windows computer. And if you are receiving this low level fatal error or UE4 crash or exception access violation error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to end EA and EA background process from the task manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager. Now under the process tab, you can see EA. So make a right click and then click on end task. Once this is done, again, find scroll down and find EA or EA background service. Make a right click and then click on end task. Once you close all the EA services from here, now launch the game. Now, the next step is to close EA app and then repair EA app. Now, the next step is to close EA app and then repair EA app. Now, for this, close EA app. So, on the, on the EA app, click on this three horizontal line and then click on exit. Now, once done, open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then click on uninstall a program now find ea app in the list now make a right click on ea app over here and then click on uninstall click on yes to allow now over here you can see the repair option so click on repair so do not uninstall instead click on repair and let the repair complete and now you can launch the game that should fix the problem now the next step is to use origin to repair ea app now for this if origin is already installed in that case launch origin so first of all close ea app so click on this three horizontal lines and then click on exit and close ea app and if you have origin installed then launch origin on your computer after you close the ea app launch it now if origin app is not installed in that case you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to ea website scroll down Now on this website scroll down and over here you can see download origin for Mac option under the windows. So make a right click on download origin for Mac and then click on copy link address. Now open a new tab. Now paste the URL over here and then over here you can see Mac. So instead of Mac type in PC over here and then hit the enter key. Now open this website, open this, now this will start downloading origin setup exe file. So once the download is complete, run this exe file and open install origin. So click on it and then click on yes to allow. Now click on install origin, click on yes over here, put a check, put a check over here and then click on continue and let the installation complete now log in with your email and password now once you launch origin you will receive this prompt which says update e app so click on update e app click on yes to allow now over here you can see the option which says which says repair so click on repair this may uninstall origin so let the process complete now you can try launching the game from ea app and that should fix the problem now the next step is to clear EA app cache. So run EA app recovery as an administrator. For this, 
type in ea app in windows search box make a right click on ea app and then click on open file location and then here you can see app recovery make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you will see clear ca cache option so click on clear cache and then you can launch the game now the next step is to repair or verify the game files now this is very important this has worked for many players so it might work for you for this go to steam if you bought the game on steam go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game if you bought the game on e app if you have the game on e app in that case go to library or you can click on the game over here and you can click on manage now once you click on manage over here you will see the repair option in my case i don't see it but when you click on manage you will see the repair option so repair it and then launch the similarly for epic games launcher user you can go to epic games launcher click on uh, find the game title and then click on three dots and you can click on properties and verify so verify the game files and then launch the game next step is to try launching the game using the exe file now for this go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive you can go to c drive open c drive open program files x86 for steam users open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder or you can simply make a right click over here and then click on manage and then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder and then open the sw star wars game folder open the binaries folder open win64 make a double click and try launching the game from here so make a double click over here and try launching the game from here similarly you can find the location different location if you have installed the game in c drive for epic games launcher you can find it under program files or program files x86 so so over here you can see ea games or electronic arts or maybe epic games so find the epic games and then over there you will find the game folder so run the game from the game installation folder now the next step is to uncheck administrator in ea app exe now if already unchecked then try launching the ea app as an administrator so first of all find ea app so type in ea and then make a right click on ea app and then click on open file location and then make a right click on ea app and then select properties and then go to compatibility and then if this is checked which says run this program as an administrator this if this is checked uncheck this and then click on apply click on ok and then try to launch the game the second location is go to c drive program data so if you if you don't see program data over here if you don't see program data in that case you can click on view and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see program data so open program data and then open microsoft and then open windows start menu windows start menu and then open programs and then open the ea and over here you can see the ea app make a right click select properties compatibility uncheck the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok and then launch the game now if now if already unchecked then try launching the ea app as an administrator so if it is already unchecked then in that case make a right click on ea app and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game next step is to disconnect additional joystick so if you have any additional controller connected to the computer unplug it and then launch the game this is important this has worked for many players so if you have additional controller disconnect it also unplug hotas wheel pedals mouse if you have these additional usb adapter which is connected to the computer disconnect it and then launch the game also disable steam or ea overlay for this you can go to settings over here on ea app go to settings and then go to application scroll down over here you can see in game overlay 
turn this off turn off turn off in game overlay in EA app now in steam make a right click on the game select properties and uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord if you have ge force experience running close ge force experience so turn off other overlay turn off overlay in other application so just make sure that you close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner or river tuner running so close all the overlay application and then launch the game if you have multiple monitor connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor try, try launching the game on single monitor also if you have these services running in task manager close these services so make sure only the game and the steam is running or only the game or ea app is running or only the game or epic games launcher is running so rest close everything including all your browsers also close all your browsers also if if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services so make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services then click on disable all in my case this is grayed out in your case this would be highlighted i already did it so put a check on hide all microsoft services then click on disable all now click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to delete the config file now for this open file explorer on your computer go to this pc open c drive open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder now if you don't see app data on the top click on view and then put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see app data if you have windows 11 somewhere over here you will find the view option click on view and then select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the local folder now over here you can see star wars game folder and over here you can see save folder now over here you can see config so make a right click on config and then click on delete and then once you delete it now launch the game next step is to delete, delete the save game files now before you delete the save game file let me inform you this will result in loss of game progress so you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree delete the save game files to delete the save game files open file explorer once again go to this pc and then open c drive so open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now over here you can see saved games folder open this folder now over here open the respawn folder and over here you can see jedi survivor folder make a right click and then click on delete now once this is deleted now launch the game next step is to change your display refresh rate to 60 hertz now for this open windows settings and then go to the system and then under display scroll down click on advanced display settings i think the process is same for windows 11 users so go to advanced display settings and over here select 60 hertz also do the same thing in nvidia control panel so make a right click on the desktop if you have nvidia graphic card make a right click and then click on nvidia control panel so if your nvidia control panel has a display option over here you can go to display and set the refresh rate at 60. i have a laptop so i don't have that option so if you have a desktop in that case you might see display option over here so next step is to if using steam close ea app so if you're using steam in that case close ea app and then exit from ea app and then launch the game now if you're using ea app if the if steam is open close steam and then launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now this is very important so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings now if you have windows 10 click on update and security if you have windows 11 on the left hand side you will find privacy and security options so windows 11 users click on privacy and security windows 10 users click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now 
scroll down click on manage ransomware protection now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever, wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then open this star wars game folder binaries folders in 64 select the game exe file now click on open for steam users you can go to c drive open program files x86 open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder i also have the steam version so open steam library steam apps common and then open the star wars jedi folder jedi survivor folder and then open star wars folder and binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open do the same thing in windows defender so go to control panel and then go to system and security now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app now click on browse and go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open then click on add in my case this is already added now once added click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so epic games launcher user can avoid this do not do this so for this go to the game installation folder once again and then make a right click on the game exe file and then click on run as administrator next is to also you can try disabling the full screen optimization for this make a right click select properties compatibility and you can click on disable full screen optimization then click on apply click on ok and then run the game as an administrator if that does not work you can go to properties and uncheck this box you can uncheck and then click on apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver now this is very important this has worked for many players so it might work for you for amd users you can go to this website nvidia card users you can go to this website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on start search now once you click on start search scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is 531 period 68 now click on get download once the download is complete run this exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation now click on next make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on next and after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now for amd users you can go to amd website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here this is just an example and then click on submit and if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 now driver re released on april 27th has worked for many players so you can download and install this driver and then launch the game next step is to roll back graphics driver i'm showing for nvidia you can try previous version of older version of graphic card if the current version does not work so you can go to nvidia website once again and then make sure that you select your graphic card over here this is just an example select your graphic card if you have windows 11 select windows 11 click on start search scroll down and over here the latest is 531 period 68 you can try 531 period 61 or maybe 531 period 41 so try older version but make sure that when you when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then launch the game after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now this is important try type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then 
again go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder open star wars folder and then open binaries win64 select this exe file now click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to now if you are able to launch the game if able to launch the game set priority to high or real time for jedi exe file also try window mode disable ray tracing now this has worked for many players so disable ray tracing and lower down graphics settings now once you launch the game open task manager so make a right click on the start menu then click on task manager to open task manager Now over here you can see Star Wars Jedi Survivor EXE file. Make a right click and then go to details. Click on go to details. Now under the details tab you will find Jedi Survivor EXE. Make a right click and then go to set priority and then select high or you can select real time. So select high first then click on change priority now check still you are facing the problem then make a right click once again and then set priority and select real time and then click on change priority and then check now after you launch the game go to options over here and then go to visuals now if you are able to change the window mode over here you can select window mode or window full screen now if you are able to change the resolution you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more now if the graphics quality is set to epic ultra you can try high you can switch to medium or you can go for low so i have selected low for graphics quality now scroll down now if ray tracing is on turn it off this has worked for many players so turn off ray tracing and this fsr2 if this is set to high or performance you can select quality over here or you can even turn it off so you can turn off this or you can select quality over here and then scroll down now over here you can see motion blur you can turn off motion blur and you can also turn off the v-sync now apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to increase the virtual memory for this type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings now click on the first settings and then go to the advanced tab and then click on change by default automatically manage paging file would be selected over here uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then put a check on custom size and then for me this is working initial size is 1.5 into total ram now check the total ram in your computer so you can open windows settings go to system and then go to about and then over here you can see the total ram in my case it's 8 gigabytes so it might be 16 in your case so in my case it's 8 gigabyte now you have to convert 8 gigabyte into megabyte for this you open calculator on your computer and in my case total ram is 8 gigabyte we have to convert this to megabyte into 102 1024 that is 8192 megabyte so total ram as per 8 gigabyte in megabyte is 8192 for me so initial size is 1.5 into total ram that is this is the total ram into 1.5 that is 12288 
and maximum size for me it's 3 into total RAM now total RAM is 8192 in megabyte into 3 so for me it's 24576 enter the numbers over here then click on set click on OK click on OK and then click on apply OK OK now the next step is to install visual C++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 version and download x64 version so you have to download both x86 and x64 and run both the exe file so click on it and then if you see the repair option click on repair repair you might see the install option so if you see install click on install if you see repair click on repair click on yes to allow run the second file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair or if you see the, see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once installed you will see a restart option on this window so click on restart and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to install media feature pack now for this go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will again take you to microsoft website now for windows 10 n edition so if you are this step is applicable if you are using n version of windows so if you have n version of windows then for windows 10 n edition open settings and then go to apps apps and features and then click on optional features then click on add a feature and then over here type in media feature pack feature now i don't have windows 10 n edition i have windows 10 home so i don't see media feature pack if you have windows 10 n edition type in media feature pack you will see media feature pack put a check on the box and then click on install on the bottom similarly if you have windows 11 in that case go to settings apps optional features click on click on view features and then type in media feature pack and then install it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update your windows to the latest version now make sure that your windows is up to date so go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game this is very important next step is to update your system bios now go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer your model number and find the latest BIOS update available and then download it and then update your system BIOS install the system BIOS now in case of laptop before you update the system BIOS make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% if you have the laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter the charger is connected to the computer during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable make sure power cable is plugged in during the BIOS update, your system will restart. It will update the system BIOS. And once done, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. This is the last step. So if nothing is working, you can simply uninstall the game. And after you uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive. So if you have SSD, try installing the game to SSD. If you don't have, you can try installing the game to different HDD and then after the installation, launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game working on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.